from New York. I'm an attorney, and I advocate for patients with long-term disability claims uh, for several years, and I've been on this committee since uh, 2006. Uh, good morning. My name is Dane Cook. I'm at the University of Wisconsin in Madison in the Department of Kinesiology. That's the exercise sciences, and uh, I'm interested in the psychobiology of uh, fatigue and pain. I'm Ron Glaser. I'm the uh, head of the Institute for Behavioral Medicine Research at Ohio State University Medical Center, which has about 20 faculty in our group. I work most closely with my wife, Janice Kiko Glaser, who's a clinical psychologist. I'm a tumor virologist. I work with Epstein-Barr virus. Been interested in latency, viral latency, for many, many years, and nasal pharyngeal carcinoma for many, many years. And, uh, and so we, we approach looking how stress affects different aspects of the immune system and how the, uh, the virus story part of that fits into that. And um, uh, just want to mention that I think I've been working with Nancy Klimas and Galen Marshall for many years and actually published my first paper on chronic fatigue syndrome back in 1988 with, with a guy down at this, the CDC, Jim Jones. And uh, so I have, a, I have a continued interest in chronic fatigue syndrome. My name is uh, Arthur Hartz. I'm from the uh, University of Utah, where I'm the director of health services research at Huntsman Cancer Institute. Um, my uh, research interest is to identify patient factors that are associated with the prognosis of chronic fatigue and also interventions that uh, alter, the, uh, alter the course of chronic fatigue. Good morning, I'm Eileen Holderman. I'm a patient advocate from Galveston, Texas. I've been a trustee for the New Jersey CFS Association, uh, making contributions mostly in media relations and public policy. Wow, what a group. This is uh, very impressive. So just going around the table, you hear themes of uh, research, uh, policy, advocacy, uh, behavior, treatment, health services prognosis, um, and then ultimately communication. So these are uh, critically important issues and a, a, a true public health issue in its broadest sense. Um, I also am very respectful at the, for the uh, tremendous expertise and experience of uh, my colleagues here, because I think many of us have tackled uh, issues in public health where we started, we did not know uh, the basics of what the issues were. We did not know anything about etiology or uh, causation of certain conditions, but it was the commitment of uh, people like yourselves who, who were determined to take these issues on uh, on behalf of patients and, and really um, show perseverance to the cause over years. Uh, we know that if we do that in this condition, we're going to make a difference in the long run and hopefully in the short run. So. Uh, these are all themes that resonate with me as a clinician, as a researcher, and, and uh, now as a Assistant Secretary for Health. So again, thank you, thank you for being part of this, and uh, we're hoping that this uh, new administration can work uh, more closely with you on uh, chronic fatigue syndrome issues as we move forward. So um, I think today's meeting is particularly interesting in, in that we have some public testi testimony, so we're going to be eager to hear about that later on. Uh, we have some issues about the charter to be renewed. renewed. Um, we're we're going to do that, and there are some logistic issues to renew that charter, which is uh, set to expire this fall, but we are committed to continuing the uh, momentum here. Uh, and then uh, I really want to thank Dr. Wanda Jones uh, once again. Uh, in fact, can we give her a round of applause here? <laughs> I, th I think I have lost count how many times she has come to brief me in my opening months about the importance of this committee and about the importance of this issue. So um, Wanda has been our lifeline. And then I had a, a lovely phone call with Dr. Snell last week uh, in anticipation of today's meeting. And I, I really want to thank him for his service and for stepping up as the new chair. I think he deserves a round of applause, too. Thank you. What, I, what I'd like to do with you moving forward uh, in future meetings is to uh, keep connecting with you. I want to come to as many advisory committee meetings as possible. Uh, I'm looking forward to the um, XMRV meeting this fall and then the State of the Knowledge meeting uh, next year, sponsored by NIH. Uh, I'm look, looking forward to reviewing the science 
uh, with you and seeing um, if we can better define uh, etiology and then what, how we can uh, ease suffering for people who are um, living with this condition. Um, I also know that you and your predecessors have done a lot of work in putting these recommendations together, and Dr. Jones has not let anybody forget about that. And she and her staff, uh, Mahek Nair and others, have put together this grid of recommendations. So for the next for the next meeting, I'd like to review some of these with you and try to move on some of these with you, because I know um, that not only you, but the other 150 or so advisory committees to the department put in a lot of time and energy to these recommendations. Um, some of them, of course, uh, have resource issues or logistic challenges, but others we should be able to move together if we have the commitment. So I want to review these with, uh, with you next time and see if we can get some traction, because I know the time and energy that you put into um, uh, putting these recommendations forward to me and the secretary. And then finally, I do, I do want to say the secretary, uh, I think you all have seen her in action in her first year addressing incredible challenges with H1N1, with Haiti, uh, and then being a leader and making health reform now a reality. And uh, I think the passage of health reform is going to make our health system a true health system perhaps for the first time ever. And uh, I think it's a very, very exciting time for the country. It's an incredible time for the department. We are heavily into implementation on literally dozens and dozens of fronts. Uh, we we want to improve patient care and focus more, more on, on the medical home. Uh, we want to have added emphasis on prevention, uh, taking care of the whole patient, and then also building public health so that people don't become patients in the first place. These are all the themes of health reform that um, I am thrilled to see as the Assistant Secretary. And I know the Secretary has a tremendous commitment to this. And here are all the things that she has helped make happen in the first year. So um, based on uh, this, this meeting today and moving forward, I'm eager to brief her on your behalf um, and then hopefully have her come see you in the, in the near future. So maybe I'll just pause there and I'm, I can stay for another um, maybe 20 minutes or so. I, maybe I can take some Q&A a little bit. Dr. Snell, is that okay? That, that would be great. Yeah, we um, really appreciate that. And, and